Hello everybody, my name is Elinator, and this is my guide for upgrading a classic world to InfDev. The only tool required for this guide is MCEdit Alpha 78. The first thing you'll want to do is locate your classic world. If it is saved as a .dat, you will want to rename it to a .mine file. Note that for some custom world sizes, MCEdit will not be able to open the world. If that is the case, you will want to include the world dimensions within the file name. The format is width, length, height. In this scenario, we have a world of 256 blocks wide, 256 blocks long, and 64 blocks tall. Once your classic world is prepared, you will then want to open up InfDev. Do note that InfDev's before 6.11 will always save in your .minecraft folder. It is starting in 6.11 and later that InfDev will save in the instance folder of whatever launcher you use. Next is to open up InfDev and create a blank world. Once the world has been created, you can then quit. Next is to navigate to the world folder and delete all the junk files. In case you really like the seed, you can copy the level dat file to a safe location to be used another time. Once all the chunks have been deleted, open up MCEdit. You will then want to open the world that you have just cleared out. Once the world has been opened, you will probably want to avoid moving your mouse while in the selection mode because there are mouse problems on modern computers with really old MCEdit versions. The next step is to press import and you will want to locate the classic world that you have prepared beforehand and press open. Next you want to make sure that chunk align is on and then with your own little struggles you will want to position the classic world wherever you desire. You will click to confirm the location. If you do not like where the world is, you are able to move it using the nudge button on the left for easier placement of the world. This will also be the time where you will want to set the height of the classic world. Personally, I like having the classic world all the way to the bottom because that feels most natural as placement. Other people like having sea level where sea level should be. For this version of MCEdit, Q and Z are the buttons to move up and down. And if you hold the nudge button, Q and Z will move your selection up and down. Once you like where your selection is at, or if it's close enough to where you will want it to be, press import. As you can see, I imported the world a little too low because it gets cut off at the bottom. If you don't like your first placement, press delete blocks. Now you can see that the blocks have been deleted, but the chunks are still there. If you're wanting to get rid of your highlight boxes, press deselect. Now that we have empty chunks created, we can now better place the world we wish to import. Ensuring that chunk align is still on, I can now select the chunks that have been created and press import again. Now that I like the placement of my classic world and that the bottom is no longer getting cut off, I will now save. The last thing you will likely want to do before loading up the world in InfDev is to move the player position. To do that, press on the move player button and then select where you want your next location to be and press save. Once everything is all saved, you can then quit MCEdit. The last thing to do is now open up InfDev and open the world that you've imported the classic chunks in. InfDev will automatically generate all new chunks surrounding the classic world. And that is it for this guide. Thank you all for watching. Bye.